My name is Derek Linden. I'm going to give you an overview of some of the major features uh, in the latest Anson release. Now, uh, the biggest uh, uh, addition in Anson, which is our antenna synthesis tool for AWR, is the uh, addition now of waveguide-fed antennas. We added 166 waveguide-fed antennas. Um, to be able to see them, right now I've selected in the antenna library, I've selected the uh, all uh, setting, and then I'm going to use text filtering to uh, get the uh, resulting antennas. Now, um, one thing that's also a new feature is the ability to do advanced filtering for, um, for the library. So now I can say put in waveguide minus probe. So this is all the antennas that are available via uh, waveguide feed only and uh, removes all those that might have a probe. Now um, I can also add uh, a quotation mark to uh, uh, allow a phrase, for instance. Um, so uh, that can be very handy because now we have uh, almost 540 antennas in the library. So sometimes it's very handy to be able to filter them down. Um, and at this point, for instance, I can filter it down even further to remove some of the other types, say that I would find, uh, if I were to find them uh, inconvenient to fabricate. Um, and now I have things that are made basically with more uh, straight edges. Actually, I'll even uh, removed, remove shaped. So now I can see, okay, all these are straight edges, either uh, circles or, uh, or straight. And then I can select all of the, all the antennas shown with just one click. So uh, it's very handy to be able to filter the library to only those antennas that you really want, and then click the, uh, uh, click the select button, and you can select them all as a group. But going back to the waveguide-fed antennas, um, once waveguide antennas are desired, uh, you also need to pick waveguides to feed them with. So this is our control for waveguide feeds. And let me just go up here and say I wanted something that worked at 9 gigahertz. All right. So now I can see that uh, there are various, uh, we have uh, quite a few different types of standard commercial um, waveguides available. And you can select them. First of all, click Use Waveguide Feed. Uh, to, to eliminate all those antennas from the library that don't use Waveguide Feeds, you can also click uh, this, this checkbox here, and it will change the antenna library. Um, but uh, I can select things. I've got a nice green square that shows me that I'm uh, in the frequency range of the particular uh, type of um, waveguide. And then I've got these, uh, these are DR stands for dual ridge rectangular waveguide. And then I've got uh, standard rectangular waveguide, uh, R-E-C-T is what that stands for. Um, I can actually have it show only those and uh, waveguides that are compatible, so I can eliminate all the red, um, all the red waveguides uh, to make the selection process more more available. However, if you really wanted to use an, an the uh, waveguide out of band just to see what it would do, uh, you can. Although, uh, if if your antenna is low the low frequency cutoff, below the low frequency cutoff, it will um, not allow you to select that. But if you want to try something higher, it may result in poor or inaccurate results, but because you are uh, um, above the high cutoff frequency, but it will allow you to, to give it a try. 
Uh, one of the other features that is uh, down in the advanced controls is a logarithmic frequency spacing so that when you're going for wideband antennas, um, which are either, it can be um, waveguide or not waveguide fed, uh, if you want to be able to use a logarithmic frequency spacing so they're more bunched up at the low end of the range and uh, more spread out at the high end, uh, that can produce uh, better broadband coverage with fewer frequency points. So that, uh, that may come in handy. Um, in addition to the waveguide fed antennas, we also have slot array antennas um, that have uh, two different kinds of, um, of feed, either straight slots or the angled slot type. And as well, we also have quad, quad ridged horn antennas as well. And these antennas will allow you to have dual polarization or circular polarization. Um, but uh, in general, we, we uh, limit them to um, uh, circular, I'm sorry, to uh, the dual polarization. And these antennas um, have many different types and sizes and shapes uh, to work with different, uh, different kinds of um, solution spaces. In addition, um, for more features that we have, uh, you can see the uh, release, uh, see in the release notes. Um, one other thing that we did change was, uh, and you'll notice in the library, these little uh, watches, and uh, it goes with a time rating. Uh, you can now tell how long um, time, how long a, a uh, run might take by simulation time, so we can actually sort the library by fastest running to slowest. And when the antennas run, they will run in a fastest, uh, fastest time to slowest so that you'll get as many results as quickly as possible. You can also filter the library on, uh, on the time rating. So you can use just the fastest, sort just the fastest antennas, or you can sort just uh, all but the slowest, um, or even just the slowest uh, antennas, which would include things like uh, uh, patches on aperture grounds, because this requires a very fine mesh. And some of the other um, more complex antenna designs will run slower. Uh, fast things, such as uh, wire-based antennas, uh, now run uh, higher up in the run process. So that is an overview of some of the new features in the latest Ansem release. Thank you very much.